Hey guys, today I want to show you how to loom knit these flowers using the 12 peg nifty knitter flower loom. Um, it's pretty easy. Just grab uh, your two strands of yarn and wrap them around the outer peg uh, or you can put a knot if you want. And then start counterclockwise wrapping your yarn around the pegs. This peg uh, is a little problematic in that the pegs do come out so try to push them down every so often as you continue to work. Um, I try to leave a little space for the second row of yarn. I don't push them all the way down but I do leave enough space so that I can pull this bottom uh, over two more looms and over the top. And just keep going around. On this last one, grab it, bring it over and you can hold on to it and this will be the first one that you loom and just make sure that you push your peg down so that it doesn't go anywhere when you're ready. In fact, you can hold it with one finger, especially the first one. Okay, and then just pull from the bottom up. And keep going, you're going to need to go around this loom and do the same thing several times. I don't care too much for counting. Um, it's about six times. The best thing to do is that when your knitting comes here to this border, you know you're done with your first part of the brim of your flower, which is this part right here. Okay, so just keep going until you've reached that point. Okay, so now you've uh, loom knitted the first part of your brim, and you see where you could see it on this edge. So you're going to grab this curled up part right here which is like the very very back of that brim and you're going to bring it over. If you want this to be thicker like this one just make it a little longer. Just make it so it comes out um, one or two more rows um, over that one. Um, over this one. Okay? So just pull it back over to the front and find that loop and put it over your peg. Okay? And just keep going. You're basically making a loom hat. What this is going to be is just a flat loom hat. And just continue to do that, putting the loops over the peg. And then um, just make sure that you have the same amount of loops as you do pegs. So you shouldn't have um, any leftovers. And by now you should have pulled that string that was on the outer peg. Uh, you should have pulled it loose and you could just kind of hide it in there. Um, if Or uh, you could leave it out and you could use it and I'll show you how um, you can use that. Okay? I'm going to leave mine out and just keep going. Okay. Now you're ready to start looming again. So grab the bottom loop over the top and over that top peg and start looming again. Um, you're going to need to go around in the same way that you did at the beginning, uh, which is until it reaches this bottom part here, you're going to continue to loom. Um, if you want it to be uh, really thick like this then don't make this too long as you're going around only go around the circle to get right to that brim um, if you want it to be a little puffier then you can make it longer um, you can adjust it as you want again because I don't like to count I just use my this brim on the bottom to tell me when to start or when to stop um, when you've done this with the brim this first row can be a little hard to do so hold on um, to that top one because it's going to be looser the, uh, on the brim of hats that top one is always uh, a little looser and a little harder to loom so just again push down your pegs so they don't fly off while you're trying to do this 
and uh, hold on to that top loop so that it doesn't come off and um, once you've gone around then you're starting again counterclockwise wrapping your yarn around the loom and keep doing that again until you've reached at least this bottom brim like uh, rim of this loom like you did uh, the first time uh, to make this part of the brim okay keep going now once you've gotten uh, back to this uh, brim or rim of your loom uh, after loom knitting and uh, you're on your last row you could take and I've already started but uh, you take that leftover string and come almost completely around and cut uh, your yarn okay and then uh, put it on a yarn needle and you're gonna start to pull your hat which is really a your loom flower which is really a flat hat and and start pulling it off and it starts to gather okay sometimes you have to help the needle a little bit and just pull it off and gather um, if you wanted to do two colors uh, when you finish the brim and uh, you started um, looping it on the pegs uh, if you wanted to do the second color, you would have just cut your yarn and um, tie the second color and that gives you uh, this kind of flower. In this particular case, we stayed with one flower, with one color for our flower. Okay, once you've pulled it completely off, um, just pull like you would a hat. And then this is where it gets a little funny. You have to start pulling it, okay? And you need a flat surface. And as you can see, it starts to create that flower. Just keep pulling and smashing and pulling and smashing and just go around in a circle around that brim and bring it over okay and like I said um, just squash it and it works better if you put it again on a flat surface but there's your flower you can take this extra yarn and just take it to the back and then um, you could decide what you want to do with your flower from this point you could put um, a button you can tie with your extra yarn uh, if you have two like this you can use this to put it through your hat and tie it in this particular case I would take this and put it through my hat and then use the yarn needle to sew my hat sew my flower to the little hat okay and there you go, your loom flower. See you next time.